You know, there's certain questions that I get asked all the time, and I try to answer them all the time so that I get not asked them all the time. This is one of those things. Hey, Jackson, yeah? What's the difference between a male cat and a female cat? Well, there's stuff. But let's not go into that stuff. There are facts about male cats you might not know, and that's why I'm here. Let's talk about them. Crazy thing about male cats, number one, they tend to be left pawed, and, and females tend to be more right pawed. I, I know, try it with your male cat. Just hold up a piece of their favorite treat and see what they go for. Left or right, left or right, left or right. We've done that here on this channel. Take a look at this video over my head if you wanna see the fun results. Next fact about male cats. If you see an orange tabby, you can kinda of put your money on the fact that they are male. In fact, 80% of orange cats are male. I got not much more to say about that. The orange fur gene is on the X chromosome. Oh, so that results in a lot more male orange tabbies. Now, you know I don't like to generalize about, well, an orange cat will do this and, you know, but I gotta say, I do classify a lot of the orange tabbies that I meet as being Dennis the Menace. Well, now it all makes sense. You know, if a cat's gonna run around with their slingshot and whatever, it makes sense that it's Dennis the Menace. <laughs> Male cats are commonly now referred to as tomcats. Now, we tend to just attribute this to unneutered male cats, but for the sake of a very cool story, let's just imagine that all male cats are called tomcats. Why is that? Well, one theory is tied to a book written in 1760 called The Life and Adventures of a Cat, attributed to Henry Fielding and William Guthy. And in that book, you know, he had a typical, you know, daring do, swashbuckling life. And not surprisingly, our protagonist in that book was a cat named Tom. Now, I don't want you guys to get too worked up about this if you have male cats in your household, but the fact is that male cats tend to live shorter lives than female cats, approximately one to two years. Now, this is based on a lot of different variables, so that's why I'm saying don't get too worked up about it, but it is true because they're all based on your friend and mine, or your frenemy and mine, Quack. testosterone. Dum dum dum. All right. If your cat is neutered, they will live on average 62% longer than an unneutered cat. That testosterone drives them to claim territory. And they will then pick fights with other males, which is how disease is spread, like for instance, FIV. And, and that will make them suspect of secondary infections, shorter, shortening their lives. And then there's testicular cancer. And the fact that because your cats will try desperately to get out of the house, once they break out of the house, house, they're an outdoor cat. Outdoor cats will live shorter lives. They're also going to be picked off by predators, cars, mean people, antifreeze on the ground, whatever it is. These are all factors that shorten a male cat's life and they all have to do with testosterone. Let's talk about another cat fact that is tied very much to testosterone. Unneutered male cats develop jowls. Now this isn't to say that every single male cat is going to develop jowls, but I will say this, being a veteran of trap neuter return work and identifying intact males, if I see a cat even across the street who has what I would call the pumpkin head, that big round head, that's all about testosterone. Testosterone helps to form these jowls. The jowls actually serve a purpose uh, for a cat that is outside and unneutered. It's, it becomes like a toughened skin, which that's why I call them face shields, because they actually help protect them in fights, this, this toughened big skin around their face. It also acts as an advertisement to all the females in the area that, hey, Tomcat on the loose, on the prowl, also sending a signal to other males uh, based on the size of his head. And just know that once your cat is neutered, that testosterone leaves their body and their faces will get smaller. One more big, annoying male cat fact that is tied to testosterone, spraying, urine spraying. 
Now, male cats and female cats will, will absolutely spray on vertical surfaces. A lot of you guys have had that question in terms of problematic spraying in your house. But in terms of what urine spraying is there for, it's to mark territory. An unneutered cat has a job, and that job is to make sure that everyone knows that this area belongs to Tom. And in doing that, he will concentrate his urine and spray just a little bit of an amount on important marking places in that territory to let everyone know this is the boundary. That is something that the older your male cat gets without being neutered, in my experience, the harder that is to break. It becomes muscle memory. Not all male cats are going to spray urine, but just in case that's happening around your house, that's why I make this. This is the Jackson Galaxy Stain and Odor Remover. I have been using it for many years. You've seen it used on my show, in my videos. I, it's, it's natural, so it's not gonna harm your cats. It doesn't smell like oranges and roses. It just smells like nothing, and it works on stain and odor. Check it out. So that leads me to this one fact about all your cats. How old does my cat have to be to be neutered or spayed? You're gonna hear a lot of things, but the age that it has been agreed upon that is fine for cats to be neutered and spayed is eight weeks old. Please, you guys, neuter your male cats. There's no excuse at this point. Whether it's all the aforementioned problematic things, trying to get outside, mating, causing fights in the street, shortening their lives, testicular cancer, all those reasons that I just laid out, and the fact that we have millions of unwanted cats roaming our streets, at least in the US alone. With that in mind, please get your male cats neutered. And that, my friends, is a fact. All right, everybody, keep those questions coming. The more you ask them, the more I know that all of you want to hear them. Now you know about male cats, so whatever's next, bring it on. And remember, besides giving me suggestions in the comments, the best thing you could do here is subscribe to this channel. Get us up there. Speaking of facts, there's a large percentage of you guys watching these videos that don't subscribe to the channel. What the? How is that a fact? Subscribe right now. Meow.